Hello guys and welcome to Stormy Now! Today we'll be talking about headphones and earbuds that can read your mind. Well, kinda. They were pretty big at CES 2024 and many startups came with different prototypes of touch-free technologies and neural interfaces. Well, obviously, touch-free technology is the future and many wearable devices are trying to head that way. But it seems like we're not ready to be cyborgs just yet. At the end of the day, what tech companies like Neuralink will try to achieve is to reduce the human-to-device interaction time, making the bridge between you and the information smaller and smaller. Now, let's talk about these headphones that can read your brain waves, make you sleep better, and kinda read your mind? The first device that we'll be talking about is the Friends Earable Brain Band. Besides the completely tasteless pun in its name, this device is made to track your sleep and make you fall asleep faster. It's basically a pair of Bluetooth headphones headrest band that you place on your forehead and it rests on your ear and it connects to an app on your phone. It tracks the EEG brain signals, electroculography eye movements, facial muscle movements, heart rate, the amount of oxygen in your blood, and more. It looks for any abnormalities in your sleep and makes a report on your phone to tell you what exactly was out of place whilst you were sleeping. The deepest phase of sleep is called REM and that is when we recover the most. When your brain enters that particular stage of sleep, the headband generates sound waves so it can boost recovery and make you sleep even deeper. I honestly have no idea how it actually works, but they make some pretty bold claims on their website. Since they let us know that 97% of the people who bought it and used it constantly, they claim that they slept way better. At the same time, it knows when you enter the lightest phase of sleep so it can wake you up feeling refreshed. It's actually already available to buy on their website and it costs around $400. Although they won't be doing international shipping until August, so at the moment it's only available to ship in US. The second device is the MyWaves Pebble, which is basically an accessory for your headphones and it looks like this. I know, it looks like something that will suck all the grey juice from your brain and also I'm a little bit concerned because it seems like it's a suction cup so if you have to wear it for a whole night it seems like it will leave a mark. You are attaching the pebble to your forehead so it can analyze your brain waves and then it will create a custom music track which will help you sleep better. So how does it work? Based on what my waves is saying, they have science-backed technology which are using the delta waves which are linked to sleep in your brain to tell you all the activities of your sleep from deep sleep to REM by selecting a very specific part of your delta waves while you're sleeping and turning it into music. And apparently they can make your brain fall asleep faster, longer and better. I'm sorry, but to me this sounds like a whole lot of brown stuff that comes out of a bull's rear end. You wear this device for one night and then you upload the recording into my waves which transforms the brain waves into lullabies that makes you sleep better. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a non-believer in the science of the brain and delta waves and how music can help us sleep better. But taking my delta brain waves and turning them into music so I can sleep better, it feels like you are trying to get my money for something that you think it might work or it would improve my sleep insignificantly instead of just listening to sleeping songs. The third device is the ZenBud from New Gear. They look like a pair of regular over-ear headphones, but what they actually do is they stimulate the vagus nerve, which triggers a rest response that sends calming signals to the brain. On their website, they claim that the benefit of using this headphones looking vagus stimulating device is improved mental well-being, it's user-friendly, convenient, with personalized experiences and science-backed methods. Well, I'm glad that it's not an esoteric-backed method, to be honest with you. Now, if we have a closer look under the technology tab on their website, they say that it does mood regulation, heart rate control, and, wait for it, digestive system management. It helps manage the digestive process signaling between the brain and the gastrointestinal tract. What the f***? And it is actually available to buy on their websites and it costs 402 pounds in the UK. And while scrolling through pictures on the product page, we can see this hip-looking man 
with his left foot photoshopped off. Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't work. I actually have no clue. But surely, when you don't pay attention when selecting in Photoshop and you put it on your product page, it doesn't help your image at all. Now, the fourth one is actually quite interesting. It's the Naki Neural Earbuds. This device is made by a Canadian company and it uses electric signals from the brain to control different devices. It can control your smart home electronics to your PC and even games. The chief innovation officer of the company made a statement saying, we built the only neural earbuds that can serve as a safe, non-invasive alternative to brain implants. They offer the ability to have a full command of control over Windows and Mac computers, including shopping, typing, browsing, and playing contemporary video games. They look like an old-school Bluetooth headset, but with embedded sensors. And it can detect brain waves and muscle impulses and convert them into signals. Although, in one of their videos, they say that it does something more like detecting facial micro-gestures and very slight movements. It's very cool anyway. And it seems to work fantastic for people with mobility issues, as it is very easy to control a, let's say, a wheelchair. As I mentioned, it also works with games, and we have a demo of someone playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. And we can clearly see how they control the plane without using their hands or anything else. Again, they have about 176 subscribers on YouTube, which basically makes us 10 times larger. Lol. <laughs> this pair of earbuds is not yet available to purchase as it's still being developed. I also cannot seem to find any more information about them, so that's that. I can't wait to play Waifu Simulator 9 when it comes out. Really cool. Talking about neural interfaces, I was watching this podcast with Mark Zuckerberg from this guy called Morning Brew Daily, where Mr. Zook was telling us that Meta is working on a neural interface which will be under the form of a wristband. The brain sends different electric signals to your muscles when you want to move them. But apparently, it sends other signals as well together with the moving signals. So the wristband will pick up those signals and somehow you'll be able to write and control the AI from your Meta Ray-Ban glasses just by thinking about it. This is kinda insane. I'm actually really excited about that. I honestly believe that neural interfaces are the future of consumer tech and tech in general. I bet that we'll see a lot of weird stuff coming out that you can control with your brain in the next 20 years. Now, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, ding dong the notification bell, and leave a comment down below and tell us what you think about neural interfaces. And also, our latest two videos are right here. Bye!